people he's around they're supporting him mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying get it i'm wanting to do these things so i'm like okay there's more inspiration over here so then we just started to connect and then we drop we drop records and people like it we get the feedback and we just keep we just kept pushing we just motivate each other you know what i'm saying Dope. so Dope. that's pretty much yeah man and you even came. how long have you been rapping well <clears throat> my first video was in 2012 okay Drug dealing, I'm drug dealing. It's a beautiful world, what a wonderful feeling. I'm winning, y'all losing my watch now with my gun, stupid. Let okay. I know, um, but before that, I was rapping, but I didn't drop nothing. Okay. So okay. I would say like, I would say, I would say like 2009, I would say. You know say for you? And for me, I would say about well, since about 2009. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And you got that track, um, Want Me to Lose, um, with uh, T Montana. That's like, mm -hmm. like 87,000 right now. Yeah, know how the thing go. Might do anything for the bankroll. Post a dub late night to the band, though. Work looking like wax off the candle. Congrats on that, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, like, is that, the, is that the biggest one you have so far? Like, the No, I did, um, I actually did a track with, uh, with G Lock, rest in peace. So mm -hmm. with, um, rest in peace. Rest in peace, um, G Lock. JG. It's called um, Can I Live? Comes around, comes around. Understand the karma, kid. Niggas don't diss because they know what the llama did. CTF touched the game, so niggas know we slaughtered it. All the niggas hate because they're food or they're targeted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's like over 100 bands. I have a track. I have a next track with um, Sam G. Money yeah, Marlo yeah. and um, Money oh, I haven't Marlo heard that name um, in a long time. Yeah. Money, Money Marlo. Marlo, I haven't heard yeah, that name Money in a Marlo, long time. Man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, squad up, squad up, right? Yeah. Squad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Squad Canada shit, far rock. Right. You know what I'm saying? And JG was on the track, mm -hmm. and we dropped that. A lot of people liked it. You know what I'm saying? The original version got taken down. <laughs> See, that's why I think I know your face. You know what I'm saying? Right. How's it, the guys? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. rapping that. But the thing before, it wasn't even a thing where it's like, yo get money off of this shit niggas just wanted to be the hardest rappers dog like, that's what i'm saying because the song i'm thinking of i can't remember the song exactly but when you said you start naming off names and stuff like that it's, it's your, your name half and yeah. I, I don't do you there's a one song i don't know if you had your your hat it's like it's brimmed yeah, down yeah, like yeah, this yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. like barring it heavy <laughs> yeah 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 i think so yo yeah like october 31st yeah, was my yeah, first yeah, video yeah, i think so I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you had your hat low yeah, in it yeah, yeah. and i and it's the size too i remember because you're, you're so what's the yeah, name of that track okay october 31st october 31st i'm gonna look for that one that when we do the post Costume on with your mask at. Lil nigga put it on the work, we gon' jam that. And anybody stepping in, I sprain out like hand racks. Get his pussy something like some more fucking tan bag. Got a plot pressure, nigga. <laughs> Online. Okay, online. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so that's why I was online. asking how long you're a rap I'm like, yo, this yeah. the, the face you you're like right now I'm is if you had that hat, I was like, okay, but that's why I had the, you your hat's low in that video. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And even yeah. with the one that you said that got took taken down, why did I get taken down? Well, it got taken down. There were some polys <laughs> over the fucking video, dog. Back in the day, man, some polys. Some, you know, I don't want to get into it, but it got taken down. But then it got re-uploaded, mm -hmm. and it still touched numbers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that and that music video actually is, is special because before we even we even um we shot we you know we recorded the track mm -hmm. that day. That's the first day I met Sam G too. You know. Okay. Shout and we, Sam G. And we, we recorded the track. And then we went to, uh, was it Jack Astor's? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everybody Face Films was there, shot, shot off Face Films. And we, we all ate, and then we shot the video. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like right, like right after, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And like, it was just fresh, yeah. just fresh off the press. So, you know, you don't really remember, yeah. but you know, you just got it done, you know? And then when, when it dropped, it was like, everybody liked it, so. Dope, dope, you know, dope. It was epic, man. These guys had a wave, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy, yeah. crazy wave. Yeah. And even like, <clears throat> let's go back. Like you guys are talking about Malvern and what's Malvern life like growing up? The Vern. The Vern. The Vern. The Vern. It's what you want to make it, man. If you want to be a fuck boy, yeah, you could be a fuck boy. Be a fuck things are gonna be happen. You and play ball and get a scholarship. You can, it's like anywhere else, you, you know. know there's mean? metro housing there. There's big houses, but there's metro housing. Yeah, you know what I'm see, saying, and I certain was, guys don't have it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they do what they do. They get hemmed up. They get their polys. They get their beef, and then certain things happen, and that's how it. That's they just have to learn. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They just have to learn how to do better. 
So it's like a mix of metro housing yeah, and then big, like big people houses, that like own their houses. The Shalan Kingdom. So like not middle income houses, but like high um, income house housing? It's getting there. Uh, like the houses, houses are not cheap over region. there. Like that's why a lot of people will critique and say, "Oh, Marvin's not a hood." Right. But you got metro well, housing, grungy. metro houses that are like million you know those houses. metro housing that are townhouses. Mm-hmm. So yep. Instead of you seeing those areas like in the states, no. that's like yeah. confined. Fucks. You see it mixed and blend. In so it's a kind of like, oh, like shit. you see like how you say like uh, metro housing, like mm-hmm. jungle for example. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where jungle's located, you have jungle, and yeah. then around jungle. You have Jewish neighborhood with high-end houses, mm. rich neighborhood houses, big right next million, to each other. and it's like Apartments two streets over. Same yeah. thing, but yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to same, ex- same just put in the like context. The, our, of that. our whole yeah. area is just yeah. Malvern. Yeah, this exactly. So it's just huge. Yeah. Wow. wow. We're talking about one of the only areas in Ontario that has the highest concentration, co- highest concentrated youth in really, the, eh? in the country. Really, there's over thirty thousand kids in Malvern. Whoa. Wow. So wow. Kids. That's crazy. Yeah, man. So it's nuts. So the area is just it's made up of a whole lot of diverse, different like you know ethnicities, and whatnot. But it's just Marvin's Marvin. If you know there, you know what I mean. You've been there. You ever passed through there? It is what it is. You yeah. know, back in the day, I had a better vibe because I know we, probably back in your guys' day, it was like a basement vibe, '90s vibe, mm. basement dances going on and thing. And then t- early 2000s, everybody's on that Ur thing and yeah. Ur vibe and. A lot of the grunginess and it's been that way ever since, you know what I mean? So, but I would say like, Marvin's Marvin, like I said, you know, you've been there, it's just, you know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It brings me to also a question that um, I've been asking a lot of guests that have been coming from different hoods and stuff like that. Gentrification, right? We're dealing with a lot of gentrification as, you know, man like PK over there in in, in Parkdale, that's like Mm. Liberty Village pretty much now. Right, mm-hmm. and then oh, like yeah. I'm a downtown. Hard in my block, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, They're like it hard. looks completely different. Yeah. And downtown, we're dealing with it where it's like we're getting. I'm dealing with it in a bad way, right? For where I live, everywhere that's getting nice, they haven't done my area yet. So all the shit is just piling up in my area until they fix my shit up. Yeah, what is it doing to Malvern? Like, is it? Are you guys from, seeing the effects of it? From what I see, is this more. Um, I guess they're putting a lot more metro housing in an area uh-huh. for areas that like are not even built up yet. Like they'll put up a ha- habitat for humanity area. Okay. Knowing that you know, you know what kind of people are gonna move in that kind of area. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Or just low income housing at that. So it's just like a lot more of that's going on. Okay. So even though seeing- they're doing like condos too and like low sky rises and shit like that, so it's like okay. a mix and blend too. Mm. It's going. I think it's going on like right coast to coast in the city because even if you're in in the west by um. Shoreham there, mm-hmm. up top, like they're tearing it down because it says too close to York University. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, and they're just moving those people wherever. Like, they don't give a fuck. They did the same thing to part, the Regent Park, mm-hmm. right? They tore down half the Regent Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the yeah, yeah, you can build back. Look at you can come place, back. Like, don't worry. Yeah, other people, yeah, you can come back, but you're gonna have to be able to afford market rent. Exactly. You're not gonna give you subsidized. No. You're not gonna come in here and turn these brand new condos into a ghetto. Mm-hmm. So. If you can afford to live here, then you can afford to live here. But guess what? You can't live there if you can't afford to live there. And that's basically what they're doing all around the city. Mm-hmm. Right. And even to what Herc is saying, with like how Regent Park has completely been taken down. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they've been spread out all over the place. Are you seeing the effects of hoods that have been taken down in downtown and like and people moving into um, Malvern from other places? Well, yeah, it happens. You a know, lot of people got to live water. somewhere, right? Yeah. So just, I feel like people in the East would just move more east mm-hmm. and then people in the west just move to like brampton and shit and that's why yeah that's why certain ends are hot <laughs> yeah but that's what happens <laughs> you know what politics like, you get yo. moved into a politics situation where it's like fuck yeah. now i'm in the ends where i have fucking war that's with facts yeah. you know what i'm saying and, it, and it's not that i i chose to live here this is where they my mom's happens to live here or what if that person's still living with their mother or whatever the <laughs> case may be yeah, yeah, yeah. they end up in that situation you know what I'm saying? And that's a lot of what's going on. And that's probably yeah. what's causing a lot of this gun violence in the city that can be prevented. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so. And there's kids growing up, right? And this is the question for both 30,000 right? kids yeah. in Malvern. Yeah. That's crazy. And, right? Now, as kids from Malvern, like when y'all were growing up, tell me what childhood was like. Let's, it was like, like, let's start with you, Harry. Hey, my, my childhood is different because, you know, I lived almost everywhere, right? Like, I lived, I lived, the time to live in the West End, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. On the Jane Western Road, I lived in Black Creek. I lived like in a lot of a lot of areas. So 
I meet a lot of people. Yeah. Right. So a lot of people will see me certain places, and they're like, oh, and and, and just so happens they're guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're yeah, doing yeah. well, and they're like, oh yeah, they remember me from back in the day. So mm -hmm. so it's like growing up. There's the hard times. You know what I'm saying? There's the times where you just keep fucking up, and then you just have to just learn. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are fucking up right now because they're still young. You know what I'm saying? They're like have a lot of time to learn. But once you get tired of something, mm -hmm. you know, you just want to do better and just just live. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all it is. <laughs> How much trouble are you going to give? Something has to, something has to give, right? Has to give. Just, has you to know change. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just yeah. going to keep living like that. Yeah. Because it's better. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and with you, late night night over, right? Well, like, like, growing up in the hood, like, as a youth. Oh, my bad. Yeah. 